As we come down from the stair biome, we can find the Faticus Lococcus in his natural tree house. Up many feet in the air, maybe about five. If he were to fall, he would probably injure himself. Now, let's get a closer view at this beautiful animal. As you can see, he is very fat, and he indeed wants food, but he is hibernating. It is too cold, and he is too lazy. So, he waits it out, until winter, when all of his faticus has worn off. Then he eats and eats and eats, and becomes a new faticus. The hunting faticus. Those ones are more athletic. Here are some wild fighting Dorisuses. The brown one is the natural, faster one, but the orange one has more strength. The brown one and the orange one are fighting over a piece of meat in the jungle. Who knows who will win? But it looks like the brown one has an advantage, as it is younger and therefore a little bit stronger, even though the orange one is still stronger. The brown one has more energy. The brown one is attacking the legs. Now the brown one has won, and claims the piece of meat, and eats. This here is a jaguar. Jaguars are known to hunt string snakes in the wild. String snakes are very long and thin. And as you can see in the bottom, the brown dogosus eats the very piece of meat that she won. The jaguar is fighting furiously against this string snake as it is hanging on from a tree and that is how it is dangling. The jaguar is biting at its tail and whipping it around, but the string snake fights hard. The jaguar almost gives up, but then sees a glimpse of hope and tries again. Once it realizes that it may not be possible to kill this individual string snake, it just sort of half-heartedly tries. And then it gets it. It got the string snake. This is a view of the brown dogosus every morning. It um, scavenges for food every single morning. And if it does not find any, it goes on to fight for food. This is a very inefficient way for food, of course. But sometimes it can be successful. Let's see if she gets any food. Let's get another view of this Dorosus in the wild of the living room. As you can see, she shoves her head in nearly a whopping half a foot and wedges her face in there so that she can get some ants and possibly some string snake. String snake is very rare, but possible. As you can see, there is nothing. She starts to lose hope. Now let's get a different angle. Here is a few is a day later, digging under the hill. Once the dogus realizes there is nothing there, they give up. Now during this process, most of the time they get what you call an ear kaboom. Now the dog gives up. This is the wild Faticus caticus, as it hunts for its prey and food. The jaguar and the Faticus caticus meet up. The Faticus caticus asks the jaguar if there's any food. The jaguar goes and checks. As the jaguar is checking, the Faticus Catechus wants to know too, and checks. The brown dogus walks by, 
and the Faticus Catechus dodges. A little late, though. Faticus Catechus looks up the uh, the stair by him, but notice, notes it is too dark to hunt there. Faticus Catechus thinks, sees a deadly jungle slug, and walks away. This slug is very poisonous. Faticus Catechus is very smart for not eating it. The jaguar goes for its morning nap, and the Faticus Catechus looks and decides to have a nice string snake for breakfast.